Hi, VenCoreWeather.com. Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, February 16th. A strong cold front is sliding slowly through the I-95 corridor region this morning. There will be occasional showers for the next few hours. And then the winds will pick up this afternoon out of the northwest. Colder air will start to become more and more noticeable as we approach the latter part of the afternoon and especially noticeable after dark tonight. Temperatures overnight will drop well down into the 20s in many parts of the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor. And then low pressure will start heading our way on Saturday. It'll move from the southwest to the northeast to a position off the mid-Atlantic coastline by later tomorrow night, and it looks like there'll be a quick six-hour period or so of pretty good snow from D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City with several inches possible in some parts of the I-95 corridor, perhaps on the order of two, three, maybe even four inches in the northern and western suburbs of D.C., three to six inches of possibility in and around Philadelphia and New York City, all from late tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow night, into the midnight hour or so. Again, about a six-hour period. It's a fast-moving but potent system. It's out of here by Sunday, and then we have a warm-up to deal with uh, by uh, certainly by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Temperatures could climb back to the 60s, perhaps even higher than that by Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon. Longer term, we've uh, talked extensively over the past several days about numerous signs that point to a colder pattern returning. Indeed, that continues. The AO, the NAO uh, continue to look like they'll drop into negative territory as we approach the month of March. March is looking quite interesting indeed. It looks like a colder pattern will return and with that the threat of snow. That's at the end of February and for the month of March. Let's now focus in on this upcoming weekend snow event. First of all, let's look at the 500 millibar pattern. This is the very latest, the 12Z, 12 kilometer version of the NAM model. I like to deal with the higher resolution models as we get within 48 hours or so of the event time. They seem to have a better handle on exactly where that rain snow line may uh, end up and uh, that's an important factor here. First of all, we have a wave of energy. This is the uh, forecast map for tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, a 24-hour forecast from the very latest NAM model. We'll see in a moment here. Basically, this translates west to east over the next 48 hours or so, and that'll contribute to upward motion in the I-95 corridor region from D.C. to New York City uh, late tomorrow, tomorrow night, and that, in turn, will result in a good thumping of snow some decent precipitation amounts, even though it's a fast-moving system. And here's the forecast map at 500 millibars for tomorrow evening, Saturday evening, and here's that wave of energy basically moving from west to east, uh, this time positioned over the uh, Midwest, and low pressure at this time is starting to move in this fashion here to a position off the mid-Atlantic coastline by uh, late tomorrow night. Let's now jump ahead to Sunday morning's 500 millibar forecast map. And here we go. By Sunday morning, that 500 millibar upper level energy is situated here off the coast of New England. So again, basically a west to east movement of the upper level energy that will help set off the development and the intensification of surface low pressure that ultimately ends up off the mid-Atlantic coastline by late tomorrow night. Well, let's now take a look at the surface forecast maps, again, all using the 12Z, the very latest NAM uh, high-resolution model. These maps, by the way, from tropicaltippets.com. This is the forecast map for early this evening, Friday evening, and then we'll jump to Saturday and walk through in hourly increments. Just wanted to point out a couple things here. First of all, by this evening, Friday evening, strong cold high pressure will be centered over the Midwest uh, northerly winds, north to northwest winds will pump in colder air. The temperature should drop this afternoon and certainly uh, the colder air will be noticeable as soon as the sun goes down this evening. Again, overnight lows well down into the 20s in D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. If you're looking for favorable factors for snow uh, late Saturday into Saturday night, one of the uh, favorable factors is the fact that this is a fresh cold air mass that we'll be dealing with. Again, the cold front sliding through over the next uh, few hours. Cold air, really, uh, the brunt of the cold air mass arrives tonight. And tomorrow morning we'll wake up, perhaps with some sunshine, but that'll fade quickly behind clouds. 
but temperatures way down in the 20s in the I-95 corridor. Again, a uh, fresh cold air mass to deal with with this upcoming storm system late Saturday and Saturday night. Well, here's the forecast map now for uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. This is a 24-hour forecast from the very latest NAM model. By tomorrow morning, we'll have got a high pressure, cold high pressure, sitting right on top of the mid-Atlantic region. Again, a cold start to the day, a fresh cold air mass temperatures way down in the 20s to start the uh, morning on Saturday. And again, there could be some sunshine early tomorrow. That'll fade quickly behind clouds. Notice precipitation here out over the Midwest. That will start moving in a northeast fashion right towards the mid-Atlantic region. Let's now walk through in hourly increments. And here we are now walking through the morning of Saturday. That high pressure still hanging close by. Now, it moves to a position off the east coast by later in the day and that will open the door for this precip pre precipitation to advance to the north and east but it will be cold enough that it should start as snow even in the DC metro region let's now uh, keep moving forward here we go into the latter part of the afternoon we're talking 4, 5, 6 p.m. snow should break out in the DC metro region and then we'll move forward here continuation of snow just about to arrive in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania at the end of the day tomorrow, maybe 6 o'clock or so in the Philly metro region. Let's now move ahead another hour here. Notice the pinks here starting to show up in and around uh, D.C., certainly in the southern part of the uh, district. Uh, the pinks here rep representing, uh, the pink and purple representing sleep or even freezing rain. Snow moves into Philadelphia by uh, 5, 6, 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. In also into New York City and it looks like and here we go by 7 p.m. Saturday evening snow still falling on the north side of the of the district perhaps a mixture a wintry mix from the DC to point south and east of there basically primarily snow in Philadelphia and New York City and this should be the trend through this uh, storm system primarily in the form of snow across Philadelphia and New York City Certainly some sleet can mix in at times, maybe even some rain uh, on the southeastern side of those two metro regions, Philly and New York City. In D.C., a lot of snow, um, a lot of uh, time with all snow north and west of the district. From the district south and east, certainly a wintry mix uh, will likely develop after the initial outburst of snow late in the day tomorrow. So in general... I'm thinking two to four inches in the northern western suburbs of D.C., maybe a coating to two inches from the district itself to point south and east. Generally, three to six inches expected in the Philly and New York City metro regions. Now, with this storm system, uh, certainly looks like the higher snow amounts in those particular ranges will occur in the northern and western suburbs, and the lower snow amounts uh, in the metro regions and to point south and east, even lower uh, than that expected near the coastline, New Jersey coastline, for example, could get uh, quite a bit, bit of uh, rain involved here, cutting way down on the expected snow accumulations. But here we go. This is 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Let's now jump ahead in three-hour increments, 10 p.m. Snowing once again throughout much of the D.C. metro region, so wintry mix could actually change back to snow. Pretty much all snow here showing up in Philadelphia and New York City and then finally ending at this time around midnight let's say uh, tomorrow night early Sunday morning in the DC metro region and just about to wind down here in Philadelphia now late tomorrow night pretty much over with in the DC Philly and New York City metro regions and by the time we get to 7 7 a.m. on Sunday all gone here so basically a six perhaps seven or eight hour period of uh, snow Perhaps a wintry mix, especially down across the D.C. metro region in the district and points south and east. Again, right now the current thinking is up to two to four inches possible in the northern and western suburbs of D.C. Maybe a coating to two inches from D.C. itself, the district itself, and points south and east. Generally three to six inches expected in the Philly metro regions and uh, New York City metro region with those higher amounts in that range, the six inch amounts for example on the northern western suburbs and the lower amounts 
uh, in the metro regions and to the immediate suburbs to the south and east of those metro regions. So a messy situation, including accumulating snow expected in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City metro regions late tomorrow and tomorrow night. A quick mover, but a potent system all out of here by Sunday. Then we get much milder by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Longer term, however, it looks like we'll have a return to a colder pattern at the end of the month of February and for the month of March. March could turn out to be quite an, interest, an interesting month with colder than normal air, uh, probably sustained colder than normal air in the northeastern part of the country, and that will certainly result in some snow threats as well, it looks like, during the month of March. So a lot going on here. Stay tuned to eventcoreweather.com. That's it for now. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.